like the challenge cards and the dailies and things like that that I'm doing right now, or if I'm just gonna kind of take a break for a week or two, play some like do some let's plays and then come back to it. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, as much as I want to continue playing this game every day, uh, with so many other options out there and playing the same thing over and over again, I feel like it, it's definitely kind of getting to the point where it's not, I'm, it's not that I'm burnt out, but it's just like, now that I've checked off everything, what else am I going to do? I don't know. We'll see. I guess it will play by year, but still, um, it's kind of like floating in the back of my head like hey you have all these other games that you can be playing that have like full drawn out stories like you're not going to run into a ton of bugs you're not going to like run into all that stuff so we'll see we'll see the one thing I will say about this game is when I do Take that break and uh, start playing other things and start doing the let's plays again of other um, other games. Any sort of like semi big update, I will be coming back to like almost instantly because I'm still going to leave like notifications on. I'm still going to be tied to what's going on in the world of Marvel's Avengers, but. Um, in the meantime, like while there's, they're patching it and everything, uh, I can spend that time playing like other stuff. So that's pretty much my plan for that. Um, He's out there. Sure. Okay. So, uh, let me swap over to captain here and see what uh other quests we have for him today uh it's not one o'clock yet we got a few hours until the faction missions drop for today so that's good the one thing i definitely kind of want to do before i even take a break at all in this game is get every character to at least level 50 so that way they have all the skills they have all the abilities and then from there it's just um, power leveling them. So, let me see here. Uh, do, 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 I don't think we, yeah, neither of these we're going to use. Um, this is our blue. This one is 5% increased chance to find comic books and strong boxes. Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 But which one do I want to replace it with? I can replace it with this guy. It'll bring my melee rating down. Or if I replace it with this guy, it'll bring my range rating down. But those will go up. Uh, and what's this give me? This has a 5%, 5.8% chance of completing any mission. Will reward an extra gear item. Increased charge rate of heroics uh, support ability. Increased critical hit chance for a light combo finisher. Mm. Mm. But this bumps me up by a lot too. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to rock these two. Just because at this rate, like, I haven't gotten to 150 yet. So it's all good. Um, But, yeah. I'll keep it at these two. Um... Do I want to upgrade anything before we head out? I'm hesitant on upgrading this thing because I feel like I'm going to get eventually a better melee piece of gear. And then I'll want to upgrade that all the way. Right now, the gear perks for this is only three stars. Um, it's not the full five stars. And the perks are like, okay, like it's nothing insane, but it's an option. This I'm going to keep because it's five stars. This, I'm kind of the same thing about the first one where it's three stars. The perks sound like something crazy. This one I absolutely love, so I guess I can actually upgrade this. 
the uh, ten percent increased damage from uh, Brooklyn Brawler and increased charge rate of the heroic ultimate, which is Brooklyn Brawler. Um, I think that's that's awesome. So those I'll, those two I'll definitely keep. Uh, let me actually I forgot to check the challenge card for him. Okay, so we still have those uh, high value bounties and the five vault missions. And then the dailies are defeat enemies with sprinter dodge attacks. Okay. Uh, is that defeat them? Like, okay, we can try it. Complete threat sectors in the eastern seaboard. All right, we can do that. Since it's asking for something specific, I guess I'm just going to launch it myself. And we'll see if we get anybody in matchmaker or not. But if not, it's not like the worst thing in the world. Uh, hmm. I'll bump this up to three. Just because right now it's negative four. This does drop you epic gear though. Well, well we need to do a few anyway. So you know what? I might as well knock this out first and then do this one. Or vice versa. Fine, let's do Enter the Avengers first. This one, I think this mission actually ends in a few days here, um, anyways. So, uh, that'll be ending and then it'll put a, a, give us a new priority mission or so. That's actually not too bad. Uh, let me call in core, Earth. Call in core, call in Thor. I did get Thor to 70, he's level 43, so he's almost there. Um, Iron Man's still 14. Uh, it looks like still, um, or Black Widow is my lowest out of everybody. <clears throat> we'll see if we match make with anybody. If not, then I'm just going to launch it myself. Um, it's another reason why I want to, I kind of do want to upgrade my characters soon. And start working on more of them is so in moments like this where we aren't finding people we can still play and our uh teammates the ai will still be like competent you know but we'll see we'll see I'm not going to bother waiting too long. While on recon in Manhattan, several shield agents have been waylaid by AIM forces. The one thing that sucks for the Avengers help. Just a uh, the, the matchmaking still hasn't been figured out and it's been a week now. It's unfortunate. It will be figured out over time along with uh, the rest of the bugs, hopefully. Hopefully. But um for right now it definitely makes makes for a rougher experience especially for a game that they they constantly constantly say you can play single player but we recommend to play multiplayer like bro please i can't even play multiplayer I'm when i want to locate to. the shield agents and we'll update your hud shortly aim will most certainly but. try to hamper your progress be careful <sighs> we'll see we'll see where it goes Oh snap! And right as I say that, Avengers. Oh, they do. They deleted it. What? They better be put posting it back up again. They just said September 9th patch. Right, literally right as I said that. Here it goes. An elite tweet. Team is patch notes, studio and update. Alert. Updating your HUD. All right, one sec. Let me actually pull this up. I want to see what what's in their patch notes for today, and when the update will be up. Is it? I wonder if it was just one of those like they posted it on the back end.
All right. <laughs> Where's my credits? Some lay response. Anyways, greetings, heroes. Uh, let's see. Exploring this, we're delighted each day we've been actively listening. We're already released three rapid patches over the last few days. On some platforms today, addresses later. PC patch notes. Uh, September 6th. Fuck, dude. I don't think we're getting one today, then. When you start the game, if you does not start update it and then you have xbox and playstation september 9th ps4 release september 9th september 9th for that okay well looks like we're not getting anything on pc yet three over and uh wait what they say about all right let me actually just read it Today we've been actively listening. We're already released three patches. Detail below, rolling out on platforms today. Addresses larger playthrough stoppers, loading issues, and outfit unlock bugs. We have parallel patches in development with significant improvements requested for matchmaking, retroactive unlock fixes, and more in the works for next week. Oh, God. Another week. <laughs> That's okay. Customer service and community teams are delightfully funneling all issues to the development team for us to address the future patches. Keep that in mind. Keep that feedback coming. Thank you. This is only the beginning. Scott, Scott Am at Amos. Crystal Dynamics team. Okay, yeah. So PC doesn't get anything yet, apparently. But PlayStation supposedly is out and xbox is out today what did they get though infinite loading screen issues address majority of instances infinitely falling out of the world and trying to access that okay campaign mission reward outfits no longer disappear from the cosmetic this pre presented as costumes that were unlocked through campaign right Unlock and incrementally properly. Properly. Okay. All right. So it seems like the the big patch that we should be getting is next week. Then, hopefully for everybody. But still got to wait a week. Um. <laughs> so I guess we'll see on that. One second here. All right. Anyways, back into the game here. Um, they just released that patch. Uh, notes but nothing's coming to pc just yet so for now we're stuck with the current version of the game which for the Head base the aspect of hunt. the game running and being fun it's there the it's book. just whether or not you want to run with through the issues or not i don't know i'm thinking about later on Look today maybe Here's why they call us Avengers. Maybe playing some uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater after I complete like uh, maybe the weekly for Captain or so. We'll see though. I'm horrible at those games, but I feel like it's a, it's another good like one of those turn off your brain and just chill. We'll chat. Not bad. All them heroic orbs and Brooklyn Brawlers available already. Nice. Nice, nice. It's gonna focus on the the main objective really. One of our shield allies nearby could use some help. 
the thing I like about leveling the other characters is oh, when nine. I do that, I usually do them with, um, I do quick play. So that way I can play with other people at least. And then you get that like variety of uh, missions because now you're not the one selecting it. Right now it's rough doing challenge cards though, because by doing the challenge cards, down. If you want to play with other people, you have to wait a good amount of time Another agent down. or you have to have those people ready to play, um, well done. which kind of makes it has been rough, but at you. I guess we'll see. Vaults aren't really the most ideal thing to do by yourself either. Yo, uh, Cadbury Pro, thank you for the follow there. How you doing? Hello. But we'll see if we get some people on for later today to play some, uh, Maybe do the uh, vault missions and, and other stuff. I guess I probably should have did vault missions before this, but I don't know. I'm just afraid that I'm going to forget about them and then not be able to complete it. I can infiltrate or not complete it. Systems. And then miss out on those 11 points, which is the, kind of the one thing that I don't want to miss out on. Avengers. There's 11, uh, 11 challenge card points are uh, pretty useful. Not bad. Head for the terminal so I can get you inside the lab. Oh God. I am thinking about maybe leveling uh, each character today, though, instead to because that would make it, nearby. especially right now with quick or uh, matchmaking not doing the best, it would make it a lot more easier when I do focus on challenge cards. So maybe that would be the me the better move. Start working on just getting each character t to at least level fifty, so that Ames way they have all the abilities. The might actually do I need that. access to multiple terminals the more the better huh. it kind of sucks that you have to do like for Aim the challenge cards for the dailies you have to do the mission the as that specific character them. and you can't do it like with them on your team we'll see though I think if I did do that, I'd probably work on Thor first, get him to 50, and then maybe, yeah, probably Hulk. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to change it up a bit today. Instead of working on the challenge cards all day, I'm going to um, focus on leveling up those guys. Beginning infiltration. That's the one time that I do know that, or that uh, matchmaking actually does work. When you actually go through and do, um, if you do quick play as a specific character or whatever it may be, um, for the most part, you at least get match made with one person. So it works out for that. Thank you. And then if I do get up or match me with somebody that's like chill and like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm just trying to run these missions with blah, blah, blah then I can Coming hang around and keep leveling whatever character it is. So I think that's going to be the uh, the move today. It's a little bit of a change up too, which is nice. Aim has initiated their as much as I want to do the challenge cards. <clears throat> I think it'll just make it overall a little bit better. Can't make this 
easy for you. Got him. The shutdown protocol is progressing. Aim is trying to remove me from their system. Ah. Oh. That helps. Thank you. This is another thing. <laughs> when you do these missions, the AI, they don't they just attack I've the enemies. Aim security network. They don't help you hack these things or keep control of the area. I mean, luckily it's it's pretty doable without them doing that, but still. Still. I'm just glad the major objectives that I wanted to do are all complete now. So that way I can kind of just chill and play whatever. Play whoever, do whatever, and focus on challenge cards. It's a blessing and a curse, though. A number though. of kidnapped shield agents are fighting AIM forces. Help them. Nice. There are the agents. Help them defeat AIM. I think we, yeah, just need to defend these guys. I forgot this mission was actually in the, uh, in the beta too. I honestly didn't even know this was a time mission either. They said that it, um, this mission is only going to be available for like another day or two. And then I don't know what it, where it, where it goes from there. Enemy down. Nice. Oh, that's sick. Um, Thor used his Bifrost ability at some point, so I have him set where. Um, when he uses the ability, it applies burn to all the enemies nearby instead of dealing more like prio damage or whatever it is. So that's pretty cool. And it, it looks like Black Widow is starting to use her, uh, invisibility ability more often now too, since I last leveled her. Agents are safe. Sending them pickup coordinates so they may evacuate. Not bad. It's a good first mission of the day. I sent Commander <laughs> Hill a rendezvous location to extract the shield agents. A little bit well rough done. at points, but not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, let me check here. So, I mean, we did get some new gear, but I don't think anything really legendary. Yeah. I mean, we got this, but my other one's already maxed out. Okay, cool. So there's one for the day. Uh... We'll work on that later on today or whatever, and we'll see where, where it goes for these two. Uh, what I'm going to do is swap over to Thor and work on getting him to 50. After we get Thor to 50, then I'm going to swap to Hulk and work on him, getting him to 50 after Hulk. Then we'll switch to Iron Man, work on him, then Black Widow, and then I think... Miss Marvel is going to be the last one for the most part. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. Then it will probably be challenge cards because then at least I can run like these types of missions by myself and have level 50 characters and that kind of stuff. So, um, let's see here. I'm going to change up the title now.
There it is. All right. Let me actually refresh it on my side too, just to make sure that it's updated. <coughs> All right, sweet. That's all good to go. Wait, is this? Yeah, it just looks weird. Wait, is it? Also, I'm confused. Cause I see like a, a bar right here. So it looks like it's, see it a bar like right here on the left. Yo, what's going on, high scab? I as can be <laughs> Hi, yes. there it is yeah how's it going um let's see I guess well actually let me check his um challenge card real quick we did get a new nameplate I'm not the biggest fan of that one for me is okay uh that hit five or more uh enemies with single power attack and defeat enemies while overcharged all right sweet good stuff uh is it fun as it looks man dude i personally love this game um despite all the flaws and everything that's the one thing is i'm i'm really surprised especially with pc gamers where everybody is so like so hard on games that don't run like well this game is an absolute blast in my opinion and it makes up for um the gameplay itself makes up for all the current bugs that that are in the game so every character feels like a fresh um different take on the character as well so it's really really nice it works out i think and the story is decent. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I can. I I would say if you're a huge Marvel fan and you really think the game looks fun, and you're interested and all that good stuff, then yeah, it's worth picking up like now. If you can get past the bugs, you can get past like the current matchmaking issues that you might have. It's worth picking up if that really bothers you and you're like okay it looks a lot of fun i'm not the biggest marvel fan but it still looks cool then it's kind of like one of those okay wait a little bit wait like three or four months see what people are saying at that time and then pick it up of course in the future those patches will make it right i keep seeing people trashing over things and i'm like do you remember destiny before taking king yeah exactly see like i i liked destiny but at the same time, like I wasn't like the biggest like Destiny uh, fan in the world. Like I still enjoyed it, and I came back for Taken King, but like I wasn't into the point where I was following it every single day. This game I've been following like every single day. And I'm like, man, it has its issues, but once those patches come out, once they rectify all the issues, this game is gonna be like like top tier, I think so it's all already off to a great start besides the issues so once they're hashed out and then they can focus on just content 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 like that's already kind of planned anyways but yeah once everything is figured out like performance wise it's it's just gonna only get better so and the gameplay as it is right now is so much fun that like that's where i think where this game is really gonna succeed a whole lot is because right now the gameplay is so much fun that when everything else is figured out it's gonna just get better you know it's just gonna continue to excel it's gonna be okay yeah you guys had all these issues at launch but here's the game now here's all the characters we have now here's all the content we have now so yeah i definitely recommend it regardless ah, that's what i mean he wasn't a normal cat my man did everything that dogs did <laughs> seriously bro i'm telling you my man even barked 
Let's see. He was almost like a girl that was born gay, but was supposed to be a boy. And that's where you gave me it. But yeah. Who are some of the characters uh, you hope show up in DLC? Well, there there has been a uh, a bunch of characters that were data mined as playable or are going to be playable. Um, and it's everybody from... Uh, I mean, we know we're getting Kate Bishop. We know we're getting Hawkeye. We're most likely getting Black Panther. Um, it's just going to keep going. I think, and who I'm really excited for that are most likely going to be in the game as well uh captain marvel um trying to think who else doctor strange war machine uh winter soldier uh scarlet witch quake uh, i'm trying to remember who else like all those characters that i just mentioned were supposedly data mined when the beta came out on PC as uh, eventually playable characters. So their their list of people so far is if if all those come true, it's pretty uh, pretty up there. I think Doctor Strange, um, Quake, and Winter Soldier are like the three, and Scarlet Witch would be like the four that I'm most excited for if they eventually do come. I want to see somebody like Shang-Chi and Gambit, please Gambit. I don't know if they're going to do uh, any like potentially X-Men or anything, but they did say that nothing is off the, the, the books, you know, like just because they're not traditionally known as an Avenger or even were an Avenger. Um, they have said that like anything is really open. So it's possible. I think it would be really cool. I, I definitely the think that it would be awesome. That is vulnerable to attack. Though there are still security synthoids to contend with, we expect the but Avengers we'll should see be if able that to happens. easily prevail. And I can I can Take see him playing like really cool encounter. too. Especially similar to like how Captain does with his shield. You'd have Gambit with a bunch of like cards and stuff. Head for the location on your heart. So it's definitely night, a possibility. But we'll see, we'll see. Behold nature's wrath. I've been mainly playing as Captain America, but um now because i've completed like the story and all the end game content stuff uh i'm gonna start working These on leveling up the current characters to uh to 50. so the nice thing is when you do play with your uh ai companions if you play with them instead of actual players they use all the abilities all the equipment um, whatever stats that you have put on them, they use that, which is really, really nice. So it's just going to make for an overall more uh, pleasant experience. I call the lightning. <laughs> and we're just going to keep wrecking these dudes. Thor is my next closest one to... To 50 so what we just hit 40 i think it was 44 the enemies have been defeated jeez all that <laughs> or just a drop zone holy crap uh so yeah i cannot wait to see me and some people yesterday nice we were playing Avengers. And we this are all talking about how this game forces, is going to be a completely different game in uh, in a year. It's going to be nothing 
like it is right now. So, and, and that, that makes me really excited to see where it does go. Upgrade that two times. Uh, both Hawkeye and Spider-Man before February, I think. Possibly Black Panther too. Yeah, well, the only thing with Spider-Man is right now he is technically a uh, exclusive to PS4. So I'm hoping, I'm very, very hopeful that that is only uh, a timed exclusive thing for maybe like a year or six months or something like that. But we'll see. Unfortunately, it's locked to uh, PS4 as of right now. Maximum amount. Uh, performing a dodge, rinse that. Hmm. I'm going to do the performing a takedown grants intrinsic because then you can practically always be overcharged if you do a ton of um takedowns i know he was supposed to be next to his character re release but rip chat like yeah yeah it's really un unfortunate for what happened it's crazy too that like he went through um so many movies and production and recording and everything and people like never really knew that he had that pretty um insane sad but um yeah thanks for those coordinates jarvis i can't believe i let taskmaster trick me he's stepping up his game i am not giving up we'll get that data back we have to if aim decrypts it they'll have access to all of i Shield's honestly assets, think that we were gonna we were agents, going to everything. get uh Black Panther like very soon. I think that we are either going to get him as like the first character, but because of him All passing units, away and everything. Inbound. Um So here's the plan. Shield I think is they're launching pushing a full-scale assault cuz they don't want it to be like a We lost a lot at the vault. Like a marketing thing in any way off. or another. So I think it was possible that we got like Black Panther like at the end of this month or even like possibly beginning of october but okay there's an aim checkpoint just ahead they don't want position. it to be Clear like it out that completely before i could be wrong to the main facility. but I'll that's kind of like what i felt Acquiring rendezvous location and then they announced kate bishop instead i thought we were going to get hawkeye first but they announced kate bishop coming first and then hawkeye afterwards Avengers, interesting we got this But Kate Bishop's uh, story is going to lead up to Hawkeye, All right, which is also ready. pretty cool. On my mark. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I think this is the most match made mission because <laughs> every time I play this game, I get match made for this game, for this mission. Give these boys the good a good old shocking. Just like We're always, here. Avengers. I gotta be winning. Oh wait, that's friendly. That's friendly too.
Good work. That's all of them. Moving in, Commander. Shield units will keep AIM busy in the other sectors. Let's go find Taskmaster. I'm having trouble locating him on my scanners. Knowing him, look for the biggest, tallest building. He always right, looks attention. like they do want to go this way. What are the chances out. Taskmaster has already decrypted the data? Knowing Fury Slim. Ah. Uh? If he has, though, it'll be time for more drastic measures. We can't let AIM get a hold of Fury's intel. That much is certain. Look for a chest containing special resources nearby. Hopefully they don't do a bunch of uh, hot fixes mid game today. Yesterday I had my game crash like three or four times, literally. It's kind of kind of rough. I've never had it. I've literally only had my game crash like once or twice in the same day. Not like as much as often as it did yesterday. It was pretty bad, but I mean, even right there at times it gets pretty, <laughs> gets pretty rough. Look for a chest with gear nearby. One of our shield allies nearby could use some help. There is a chest with gear close by. Just a flesh wound. Nice. Someone keeping score here? Cause I gotta be winning. That did it. Theo, work your magic. You're safe now. I can't. What? Oh, there it goes. Couldn't click for a second there. That's weird. Throwing Thor's hammer is very, very, very satisfying, by the way. Let's do this by the book. I think it is, at least. Let me go to skills real quick. Already at 40. Uh, we're, we just hit 45. Okay. Over overcharged attack specialization. When overcharged, power attacks generate small electric hazards. So enemies will be intermittently stu struck by lightning. An overcharge countering enemy attack summons an additional lightning bolt with an explosion size by 35%. Whoa. Hmm. I don't know which one's best. I'll try the lightning bolt by additional 35%. Light them! The leveling and everything is one of my favorite parts of this game too. Like being able to uh, change my character compared to somebody else's Thor. Like they really meant it when they said your character, your Thor will play different than somebody else's because of special skills and other um, like just loadout equipment. Everything really does change it in one way or another. Tell building check. Ah, you always did like to hear yourself talk. Ah, Taskmaster, always butting into conversations you weren't invited to. I'm looking ah, forward to. Is that uh, supposed to wound me? Nah, just stalling while we take out your goons. I'm looking forward to playing Hulk more and then getting the gamma radiation that he does when he does his uh, like thunderclap thing we got some not so friendlies seems like a really cool ability I'm going to me. all right ready <laughs> Boom. there it is oh god time for the big gun some trouble here <laughs> I 
Hello there. Hello there. General Kenobi. Or Kenobi. <laughs> Yo, uh, JTS Gaming Nation, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. How you doing? One down. Need more of a challenge, Maria? That's Commander Hill to you. Come on. <laughs> the heck? There we go. Boom. I want to see how much that actually master? fills my intrinsic meter by. It didn't look up, like it Commander. did too much, actually. You aren't worth my time. Come on, drop it. There we go. Okay, I see a little bit. Doesn't matter how many of my people you knock down. I've plenty more. I'm sure they'd love to hear that. Wonder if they keep fighting. <laughs> Men will fight as hard as you pay them to. Why does he sound like Plankton? I don't know what shield ever saw in you, Masters. Letting everyone else fight your battles for you. No wonder Fury was so disappointed. Actually, Taskmaster sounds oh, like Plankton. He was afraid of me. Is that why he wanted to send you back to training? Let's get inside. Everyone in. The main data oh, center is on they? one of the lower floors. Jarvis, status report. Right away. <laughs> Commander AIM has already started the decryption process. Not Let's bad. Let's work fast then. Two, one, and fast forward. Okay, the process is run through a series of turbines. I literally just I'm filled sure this Fury up this up morning, elegant solution, and I'm almost out of time. done it we're already. We're just gonna smash everything. And this is half a gallon. I've only been live for 57 they know why we're here, minutes. So I expect heavy guard. <laughs> Ignore them if you can. Just destroy the turbines before they complete the decryption. Running a scan on the data center. Got it. Even the weather obeys me. You can save your flaws until later. Nice. Go, go, go. <laughs> there are four <laughs> accelerator turbines walking. in total. It won't be long before they have access to Fury's data. Go! Destroy those turbines! Fighting uh, Taskmaster at the top is going to be interesting. Oh. appears to be slowing down. Good. Three more. I think Thor is one of my favorite abilities for like. <clears throat> All the AOE attacks that he does. They are close to unlocking that data. They've been slowed, but not stopped completely. Let's finish this. You're done. Time for the big gun. There it is. One more. Nice, 46. Is Taskmaster usually this quiet? No, but I'm sure he's listening. Let's get this done. Beautiful. The people would be cheering for my performance. Leap it off! Not bad. Boom. I do is win. You fall to the son of Ocean. Finish them all. Open the 
Come here. Right there. Close one there. Time for the big gun. Oh my <laughs> Last one down. Jarvis, what's our status? I'm afraid I have bad news. T28, thanks for the sub on YouTube. Got it. <laughs> the data was sent to an office downstairs. Get that elevator open. We're going down. Hurry! Been waiting, wanting to remake Double Dragon, wanting them to remake Double Dragon for this, uh, for, uh, like this for years. A co-op open world beat them up plan, essentially. I don't know. <laughs> so this game later is a gameplay true, or is a dream come true? Shield needs that data to true. rebuild. Without Honestly, not too All sure. All Fury's plans, um, his research. Commander what Double Dragon is, but also um, highest service. can be. Thank you for the how long do we have the follow there. Appreciate it. At most. Hopefully, it's enough. Honestly, any type of like co-op game like this, I think would be awesome. But I, I even said it yesterday. I don't know if is it if this wasn't wasn't a Marvel game. I don't know if I'd be playing it as much as I am right now. Soon Maybe, but uh, I'm not sure. Jarvis, can you get that door open? Right away. Night and night, sweetheart. I feel like Marvel, the name itself and the characters and all of that, is what kind of like really, really sells this game. Oh, it's this one where he's inside. What the heck? <laughs> Finally, face to face. Not for long. Take him down. <laughs> he's all red. It's like cell shaded. <laughs> Finally, a challenge. I'm beaming with pride. What turns me? Defeat me. Oh, you picked the wrong Boom. It's running pretty rough right now. It is very nice how um, how fast the leveling is in this game. I think that'll that'll help a lot, especially when new characters start dropping and things like that, because then you'll be able to just pretty much play um, and hit level 50 like not too not too long. Now, like a few days. After you can pretty much hit each character level 50 in a day, I think, if you work on them that much. Oh, shoot! It's the first time I went down. I 
Nice. I'm going to check my settings after this because it hasn't been dropping as much as this the last few days. So. I want to see if anything changed. This guy's not oh, wait. Do I have that enable? I might have. God damn. Nice. So much lightning everywhere. You're still too late. Do I have it? Hold on. Let's see. Alt Z is an opening up. side masters hope the paycheck was worth it send a message to aim with love from shield now is the time Not bad. We're getting there Thanks for, for your levels. Help, we didn't recover Fury's data, but we stopped aim from using Ron it. Ron always us. leaves. What now, Commander? Like, we what if I'm okay with doing the so next mission going. that you want to do? We make new plans. <laughs> we rebuild. We rebuild. Shield is back, and we're not going anywhere. Odin Force and fish efficiency. Reduce the overall energy cost of using Odin Force ability. Increase the automatic regeneration speed of an horse by 12% and reduce it uh, or reduce the intrinsic penalty occurred when failing to counter against strong or unblockable attacks by 50%. Uh, I'm going to increase the percentage. <clears throat> and let's see. So hammer, hammer and flight specialization. Let me check out this. Hold about flying to quickly accelerate forward and momentary drains intrinsic speed when used. Uh, not worth it. But flying to shoot out bolts of lightning at nearby targets. Flow drains the while active. Eh. I think I'd rather have the, the one that doesn't drain it. Yeah, that seems pretty nice. You're, yo, what up, Ed? How you doing, man? What up, my dude? Good morning. Hello. Yo, bad. I, I, I checked out that, um, the trailer for, uh, the breakpoint thing.